Hello, this is Pixel, and today I'm taking a look at Crypto Against All Odds. This game is releasing on March 2nd of 2021. I believe it's exclusive to Steam, but if there's any updates to that, that will be in the video description. This is also a tower defense game, and this one plays out a lot like Plants vs. Zombies. And what I mean in making that comparison is that you are given a grid array of placements. You have six rows and the enemies come from one end and you set up different guns on your end to try to keep the enemies from getting to your home base, which in this game is source code. That's your home base because the theme of this game is cryptocurrency. You are defending your crypto bank and your computers from hackers and viruses and different high technology threats that are trying to steal what would be your money and your investments away from you. It's a different theme for sure, and I think parts of it actually execute fairly well. There's a bit before every single level where there's a little bit of dialogue that goes back and forth, and they illuminate an issue that cryptocurrency traders have, whether it be computer hacking or getting a wallet stolen or ransomware attacks. They have these different situations, but I couldn't really find much of a story, at least not something that was super cohesive that was moving through this game. If there was one, it wasn't being put together very well, and I think that was a little bit of a missed opportunity. As you proceed through the story, you unlock a number of new guns, but you also have a room in the game where you can unlock new features. In that room, there's a store, and one of the currencies that you gain through the game can be used to unlock a Bitcoin trading mini game, which is frankly very disappointing overall, but there's also information that you can unlock on the different enemies, and you can unlock new slots so you can increase your arsenal. Overall, the features seem to be used okay. Some of the things really didn't seem like they were necessary where other things did, and I wish that the things that were more important to the game or benefited the gameplay were a little bit more thickened up rather than what we got in the end. I also think that while the graphics kind of meet the theme fairly well of doing this kind of high-tech, almost Tron-like representation of what cryptocurrency actions would look like, I felt that there was really some missing fidelity here. I think that there could have been much better graphics in this game and it would have made for a better experience overall. Music and sound effects though did exactly what they wanted it to do. It really hit the nail on the head for the theme that they were shooting for and the overall tenor of the game. The really unfortunate part though is that this game is going to be directly compared to Plants vs. Zombies by many players. The core of its design just feels so much like that game, and that game is such a ubiquitous game that so many people that have played it will play this game and immediately make that connection. Where that becomes more of a problem, though, is with the design of the weapons and the enemies in the game. In Plants vs. Zombies, you have a vast array of weapons, and many of the weapons feel vastly different than others. They freeze enemies or explode enemies. Here in Crypto, you'll find that the guns tend to do very similar things. They are just offensive weapons. Maybe they shoot in a slightly different pattern, but they're all going to have the same overall feeling. The same thing ends up being fairly true for the enemies. While there are different attack patterns for the enemies and different characteristics, they're not so different and they don't look so different that the player is going to treat them as if they're different types of enemies. The idea here in Crypto is automatically going to be, I just need to build more guns faster so that I can put enough bullets into the enemies and take them down. Contrast that with a game like Plants vs. Zombies, where certain unique zombies required certain unique guns, and that helped diversify the gameplay overall. By crypto lacking this diversification overall, the game kind of boils down to a long game of punch face, where it's just how fast can you build your guns and how hard will those guns shoot so that they can overrun the enemies before the enemies overrun you. That being said, I still found the gameplay here very challenging. They managed to make the game 
difficult enough that you were going to constantly be moving if you wanted to fully defend your base. At the end of each level, you're given a three star score and I found that often getting that three stars would require multiple retries for me to be successful. As someone that considers themselves a veteran at video games and lots of games just come naturally to me, to have that little bit of challenge was very welcome. It didn't feel too hard, but it definitely wasn't too easy. The level of challenge though wasn't the end problem. The end problem was just that my approach to every single level looked very similar from level to level. With all this said, I still had a pretty positive experience overall with crypto. It's not a game that's going to meet the bar of the greatness of something like Plants vs. Zombies. And I think because of that, my advice to any potential purchasers of this game is to keep your expectations relatively low. It is a fairly entertaining game, but the tower defense space just has so many really great titles that I would think that it would be a better time spent to go find those great titles titles and play them rather than starting with crypto. If you've liked this video, well then like this video. And if you'd like to find out about more great games that just haven't got enough attention, take a look at my channel where I specialize in finding great indie hidden gems. Thanks for hanging out with me, and until next time, this has been Pixel.